me up Pringles. I love Pringles. Mm -hmm. Pop mm -hmm. it. So we are going to be trying snacks which I have personally brought over from China. They are grilled eel flavor. Oh my god, wait. No. You don't like eel? I've never tried eel. It's just gonna taste like regular it's like seafood. Eel. This it is, is grilled eel. Uh. Oh. oh, a bit salty. Oh yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense now. Have you had grilled eel before? I have had really good grilled eel when I was in Japan. I went to the food markets mm. and got like them on a skewer. Oh, and it's like so got a like good. Oh, oh, oh. teriyaki sauce on it. Yeah, it's like kind of in between like chicken and fish, and it was sweet but still fishy. Yeah, it was really good. Oh, that's super fishy. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Grilled squid. <laughs> you said that with a British accent. Girl. Grilled squid. <laughs> I'm just really confused, to be honest. This just this smells like barbecue chips. Oh, this smells so good. It smells like barbecue. This just this smells like barbecue chips. It smells so good. It smells like barbecue. Not just barbecue chips. Barbecue. <laughs> Oops, sorry, I really? can tell my my opinions are not valued here. <laughs> Don't Chili? you reckon they smell like a sweaty man? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> they smell like B.O. Oh, that smells like barbecue chips. Mm. I'm into that. Doesn't it's like very like paprika. It. Like a barbecue chip. Heavy, heavily spiced barbecue chip. It tastes better than it smells. Yeah. I like this. <laughs> Yum. Not for me. I don't like to eat sweaty man flavored chips. Yeah. This is better. But that smell is worse. But that is not a good taste at 9 a.m. in the morning. Yes! No. I grew up eating these. Uh, Ooh, what this is this? Gone. Why does it get worse and worse? Thai style preserved plum. Oh, interesting. Well, not, not Chinese. Um, so they're used as like throat lozenges or something? Like instead of like a butter menthol, people suck on that. It reminds me of like. A saggy brain. <laughs> a saggy brain? Look at it! Why is... Doesn't it look like a brain? No, right? I would... There's many other what parts of the you... body that I would describe this a as saggy... being a saggy thing of, but not a brain. It's like a little maraca. <laughs> this is weird. I don't know what's happening. I feel like I'm eating a sherby. I'm enjoying the... Oh. Oh, holy hell. Oh! <laughs> 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 it won't crush. Are you getting like different reactions? You're getting like salty, sweet, sour, all in one go. I don't know why my body is like rejecting that. <laughs> it's quite a nice, like soothing outer layer. I don't know if it's bad or good. <laughs> That's just all the sickness coming out. Plum sickness. Get it out. Get it out. Jelly. I love jelly. <laughs> Wait, what flavour jelly is it? <laughs> How did you get this shit back into Australia, man? Like, jigga, jigga, why jigga. is it black? Honey gooling gal. Herbal jelly. Herbal jelly. So this is like a Chinese version of a aeroplane jelly. I like aeroplane jelly. jelly. We're so off key. <laughs> Aeroplane jelly, jelly for me. me! You have such a big one! Oh, I That's like, ambitious. I wanted to taste it. It's very like flavorless, but you get that jelly feel, but it's yeah, it's got like a herbalness to it. Mm. Herbal herbal jelly. That tastes like echinacea. Would I eat a whole tub of it? That, that's too much. I feel like texture-wise, great. Like, I would love to eat like a raspberry flavor or a grape flavor, yeah. or like a strawberry flavor, but the flavor for this, I feel like, has a long way to go. Me up Pringles. I love Pringles. Mm -hmm. Pop mm -hmm. it. One thing I want to say about Pringles is that somehow, no matter what the flavor, they get it so accurate. Have you noticed that? Mm -hmm. Pop mm -hmm. it. Look at the size of this Pringle. It, isn't it like any other ordinary Pringle size? I don't know. I feel like Pringles have gotten smaller. Or have I just gotten <laughs> <laughs> Seaweed flavor. It doesn't smell like seaweed. It just smells like a Pringle chip. Ooh! Ooh! Mm. <coughs> mm. Ooh. Spicy seaweed. This is what just happened in my mouth. 
the Pringle went on my tongue. I was like, oh yeah, seaweed flavor. Surprise, wasabi. Okay. I love tomato flavored anything, so I'm keen. This smells like tomato sauce. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's strong that's tomato potent. flavor. There's like no flavoring. It doesn't really smell like tomato, but it's got like a it's got like a tinge as if somebody's kind of yeah, cut a tomato and likes, wiped it. Yeah. Mmm. Oh wow, it actually tastes a lot like tomato though. Yum. I prefer these though. I think that's a problem when you're making food. Is like. Yeah, you want it to taste like the food, but also you don't want it to taste like the actual food. <laughs> like, <the> food. <laughs> like, is it just like like tomato, just eating tomatoes isn't like that good? I'm not into that. It's too sweet. Yuck. Wait. It's Hershey's chocolate. Wait, there's two very different things going on here. <laughs> We've got what I think is lychee mm -hmm. and a rose. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's lychee rose flavored. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some chili. Yeah. And is that a blood orange? That sounds like a stripper name. Lechi Rose. <laughs> She's a classy stripper. Okay, let's do lychee. Yeah. It smells like perfume. It's oh got a, a sweet aroma. Mmm, that's good. It's refreshing. It tastes like roses chocolates. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah I think so. How do you think the chili chocolate's gonna go down? Do you reckon it's gonna be hot? Isn't chili chocolate good? Oh, it smells like basil. Mm. Oh. Mm. So you can really taste both flavors in that. Oh my god, it's spicy. <laughs> okay. What the hell? I'm so confused. Oh my god, it's like pepper in the back of my throat. Mm -hmm. What is that? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was the, the spices in it. I was. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew the tingles now. Yeah, yeah. Wow, there's a lot of tingles. Wow. <laughs> China snacks are here to f you up, man. That's an experience. My brain can't compute. like an egg. Century egg. This, my friends, is an egg that's been around for a hundred years. <laughs> Century egg is not a snack. Okay, that is a meal. I call bullshit. This oh. is not within the parameters that I agreed to. Oh! <coughs> it smells oh my rank. <coughs> I'm like, yeah. hold me. Oh my god, no, I'm not eating that. <laughs> we don't eat it like this. Like, this is not a normal way of how you eat, like, century egg. Like, this is wrong on so many levels. I feel like it would work, you know, like how you have pickles on the side of food? Mm. Like, maybe you have one of these, like, on the side and you have a little bit with your food, like, yeah. to make it more intense, yeah. but... No one's making century egg salad sandwiches. No. <laughs> oh. Like, look at that, that just looks like a blob of mold. What is that texture? Mm, tastes like egg. Okay. Tastes... You're a brave soul. No. <laughs> no. It tastes like how it smells. But, yeah, it's fine. But, it, but it tastes just like an egg that's like been in your fridge maybe a couple of days. The longer you chew it, the more fishiness comes out. The tastier it gets. And I only had like the tiniest bit and it was so gross. Yeah. <laughs> you know, food is a visual experience and this visual is not great. That's not good? Mm -mm. Australia leans into kind of like the basic bitch flavorings. Your yeah. chicken, your beef, your pork, whereas <clears throat> these were very much of the sea. In some know? cases, the original is the best. In other cases, the non-original is better. So I think you just kind of need to taste things and see what you like. Cause like those wasabi chips were amazing, but I would not go for those sweaty chips. So, you know, you never know. You did well, China. Yeah. Keep the century eggs though. <laughs> Thank you.